I'm Mariam Namazi in Doha with some of the stories we're covering on Al Jazeera. The head of Russia's internal security service says a bomb caused an express train to derail. Dozens of people are dead, as Neve Barker now reports. Well, clearly now that the, uh, the derailment has been given the title of a terrorist act by the authorities, it does have broad and wide-scale implications uh, for safety across the whole of Russia's transport infrastructure. Uh, that comment that you just mentioned there from the head, uh, the director of Russia's Federal Security Service, indicates uh, very much what many people had feared, that this it was an organized attack, deliberately, um, deliberately designed to target uh, the Nevsky Express on a Friday evening, perhaps one of the busiest times of the week when travelers, commuters, tourists uh, were going between Russia's two major cities. A ferry packed with as many as 2,000 people has capsized off the coast of Bangladesh. At least 35 people were killed. Hondurans will elect a president on Sunday, but as Lucia Newman reports, a change in tactic on the part of the United States has raised concerns. In Honduras, when someone turns the tables on you, you say they've turned over the tortilla. And that's exactly what the Obama administration is being accused of doing by essentially agreeing to recognize this Sunday's national elections, whether deposed President Manuel Zelaya is reinstated or not. They had come to the agreement that, uh, that even if Zelaya was not reinstated, that they would recognize the elections in a, I think, in a dark negotiation that was done behind, behind Zelaya's back, who was trusting in their good faith. It's pitting the United States and two or three other countries that support its position against the rest of the region. These nations firmly believe that Washington is sending a direct signal that in this day and age, you can overthrow a democratically elected government and get away with it. A disconcerting thought for many ordinary Hondurans, like Maria Santos, who knows that this kind of flipping of the political tortilla does nothing for the progress that this impoverished nation so desperately needs. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Tegucigalpa. Remember, you can find the latest on all those stories and more at aljazeera.net forward slash English.